everyone, it's Ashley from Yoga For That. Are you a yoga teacher struggling to fill your schedule with yoga classes? Are you wanting to go full time as a yoga teacher but not sure if it's possible? Today I'm going to share with you three tips of how to get more classes on your schedule. I started teaching yoga six years ago. I had three classes a week on top of a full time work schedule. I have left jobs, taught more classes, gone back to the corporate world, and now I've been doing this for a full year. Along with finishing my 300 hour teacher training in June, I've been building my monthly teaching schedule as well as teaching mentorships, workshops, and helping out with YTT programs. Whether you've already been teaching or you haven't stepped on the mat to teach yet, I'm going to share with you my foolproof tips for getting more yoga classes. Tip number one, market yourself. No, you don't need to spend a ton of money on ads. Simple things like updating your social media profiles to include your new, new yoga teacher designation will be sufficient enough to get your name out there as a local yoga teacher. You might want to create a Facebook page instead of using your personal Facebook profile to connect with your students. Having a Facebook page allows you to connect with your students and your followers without having to friend them on Facebook. On Instagram and Twitter, it's simply updating your profiles to include your new yoga teacher designations and maybe a quick little blurb into why you got into teaching yoga or something fun and quirky about yourself. A website can be a fun way to market yourself as well as keep updated with your students about your schedule and any workshops you have coming up. I used to use Weebly. It was a great free platform for my website and served me really well um, for many, many years. And I recently switched over to Squarespace, which allows me more flexibility with my business. I know and have heard of Wix as well as a free platform uh, for website hosting. So if those Weebly and Wix are great options for you, I personally haven't used Wix. I found Weebly was really easy to use and I found it was actually quite easy to transfer my site over to Squarespace later on when I was ready for a more professional site. Those links can be found below in the description. Using business cards is also a great way of getting your name out there. Um, it's relatively low cost. I use Vistaprint. I didn't have my branding done for my first run of cards and Vistaprint had a really great variety of layouts that I could use for my business cards. So until I had my branding done, I did use Vistaprint and I used it on my last run as well just for the low cost of it. There are quite a few Vancouver based companies that I've heard great things about as well. Uh, so definitely check some of those out. When you have students come up to you, connecting with you, asking you questions, or if you want to follow up with them in some way, giving them your business card is a really great way of staying connected. And your business card should include obviously your name, uh, your contact info, whether email or phone number. I just prefer putting my email on there. Um, and as well as your social media uh, profile names as well, so people can follow you on social. I usually like to keep a stack of cards in my wallet and also around me in the studio, especially when I have a few classes in a row and if students come ask me questions, I can just give them my business card and they can contact me later, especially if I don't have time to follow up with them right away or if I need to research something before I get back to them. Tip number two is networking. Networking is a huge part of becoming a successful yoga teacher. You never know who is going to need a yoga teacher, who might be looking for someone to teach a workshop or an event. And if people don't know what you do, they don't know that they can hire you. So when you're starting out as a yoga teacher, offer free classes as much as you can. And I'm not saying every single day. Maybe you do one a week, one a month. Um, at a local park, at the beach, uh, at an apartment building, at a gym, whatever it is, and make sure to take your marketing supplies with you, your business cards, stickers, whatever is that you have marketing wise to hand out to participants so they can connect with you. And at those events, as well as other classes that you teach, make sure you let people know about workshops you have upcoming, other things that you offer as well, whether you do lunch and learns, private classes, events, workshops, whatever it might be, let people know what you do. Include that obviously on your website, your Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. But when you physically have people in the room with you, make sure you're talking to them and tell them what you offer so they know that they can hire you. Often people have no idea all the things that yoga teachers do and that they can even hire you for private classes. It always boggles my mind how many classes I get uh, from just announcing that I offer private classes 
people don't even know that's a thing. So make sure you're telling them all the things that you offer so you're able to get more jobs out of the jobs that you're already doing. Tip number three, and this could be almost as important as networking, is creating community within the classes that you already have. So if you're a teacher that doesn't have regular classes yet, or maybe you haven't even stepped into the classroom to teach yet, totally fine. You can create community online with your blog posts, positive posts that you make, connecting with people on Facebook, all that fun stuff. If you have regular classes or you're teaching or subbing regularly, creating community within the studios that you teach at. Smile, talk to people, engage with people, follow up with them, whether there's big life changes happening, if they're suffering from an injury, if they're coming back from a health issue. Make it apparent that you care about your students and they're happy that they're in class with you. The more you create community, the more people are likely to remember you and to think of you if someone's looking for a yoga teacher. If you announce in your classes that you offer workshops and private classes and that you teach at people's apartment buildings, all of that stuff will clue into people's minds and they'll realize that you do more and that you're accessible outside of the studio space. So make sure you're talking to people, communicating, creating community, and you'll definitely get way more jobs out of it. Another really great way of staying connected with your followers is creating an email list. And you can do this obviously on your own using Gmail, Hotmail, whatever program you use in creating your list of people. I currently use MailChimp. It's a really great service I find. Um, it's free. I have a very small list. It's quite easy to use. You can add people yourself or you can create a link for people to add um, themselves to your list and you can hook that link up to your website as well. Not sure, so sure about the free platformed websites, but I know on Squarespace, since it's a paid site, I'm able to link my signup forms onto Squarespace. So when people visit my site, they have the opportunity to sign up for my email list as well as I can add that in different sections of my webpage, whether it's in a blog post or my about me page or wherever it might be. So definitely using email lists is a great way of staying connected with your students. You can let them know about your schedule, if you have upcoming workshops, if there's anything exciting going on in your life. People love to know about you. You're like a mini celebrity in a way um, and they just want to know what's going on with you. So share updates, fun things that are going on, lessons that you've learned, um, whether teaching or just living life so people can stay connected with the goodness that you are as a yoga teacher. Those are my three tips of getting more yoga classes on your schedule. So to recap those super simply, market, network, and create community. It can't get any simpler than that. If you'd like even more content, make sure to download our free checklist. It's available in the description below, so make sure to grab your copy of that. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. If you want more content similar to this, make sure to sub subscribe to my channel. And of course, we will see you again next week. Thanks so much, guys.